hello everybody today I just want to play around with some of the little uh, snips that I have left from working with my crafty me shop goodies as you may know I put all the little off cuts and scraps and things into this jar and hopefully I can use all those things to make another project and what I thought I might like to make is something I saw a couple of years ago now. It was something that was is inspired by Angie Barner's work. I love her work, as many of you do, I know that. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's done a tutorial on this particular thing that she made. She sent it to Denise, and I will put a link to that particular video in the description box below. Um... It was made from paper bags from Denise's store. Well, I don't have any of those particular bags at the moment. I do have a similar type, which are these ones here. And I think these ones, uh, these, that particular one comes from Pam. Uh, because I do have a few of those. So I could make a smaller version using those. Just a moment. I, I've forgotten I've got these. I thought they, I had some that were even smaller than that. And I thought they might be too small. So let me, because I do have some from Luscious Laces as well. I don't think they're in this straw though. I also have mushroom bags that I could probably use although they have the gusseted side and I didn't particularly want to use those ones so let me just see if I can see how big the other ones are and um, so I could I could make a smaller one in this <coughs> and all I'm doing is and I'm not sure if this is how Angie how you know how it was made but this is kind of what I'm thinking of how I might like to make it and you're just getting your bag it does not have a gusset on the side there so I'm folding it up and leaving about um what's that I better say that is about three centimeters, which is over an inch. It's an inch and a quarter. We'll just around, around about. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it up a little bit more and fold it there, just so they're not the same. Right, and then I'll get another one and do the same thing again put it that way so it's the front is facing down and I'm just stepping it up again and I think I'll just crease it there and that way when I turn them over see how they're stepped they're stepped up I, you could even drop it down a little bit so you get a bit of that showing as well. But that's the idea I'm going for. Um, these bags. Now, uh, okay. I don't know how she made hers, but I'm just guessing. Crooked. I think it's the pattern that might be crooked. I, just, I don't think it'll make too much. Oh, it could do. Could do. I'll try and. Okay, let's have a look. I don't want them too crooked. But it shouldn't be too noticeable though. Okay, so what I thought I would do was I need to join those. That's the first one, and that's the back here. So I want to join that to the front of this. Now I can glue that, or I could stitch it down here, which is 
maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just stitch it along that crease there and then I will be back. All right, so I've done that. All I did was line the creases up and put a couple of these on. And now, did I do that the right way? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, so that's joined and that goes like that. Like that. Now I need to do the same thing again. <coughs> For this one, I want to join... Oh, that's a different bag. Let's get one the same, shall we? Is that the same? No, that's different. That one's the same. Okay, so we have two different ones. I could have used... I'll keep them all the same in this one. Um, where did I want to increase that one then? About... like that okay so now I want to be joining the back flap of that to the front of this so I'll lay that like that and just line them up those two creases like I said you can glue this if you want, just glue it, glue it down the bottom there. That will be fine. I will be gluing other parts of this, so you know it doesn't really matter. I just I like to sew. <laughs> I'll just sew that, and I'll be back. Okay, so that's sewn across there, and that. that okay look that goes at the back flat that last flat has to go at the back and this is the first one I've made so I'm just making it up as I go along I guess so that's like that now I do need <laughs> some card stock, heavy duty card stock on that back page so that it gives it a little bit of a resting zone like that. I also, I also, how am I going to do that? Because um, it's like that, it's like a little um, file thing, you know, you don't want them all joined together. You could slit the top of these and make more pockets if you wanted to, but I don't think I will. What I think I might do though is glue that little pocket there to the front of that one. So that's just a little pocket. Leave that one, have that one there glued to that one. So it's got a pocket in there. I think by not having that as a pocket, you're giving it a bit more stability so it's a bit each bag is a lot stronger because it's got that extra thing there and then that one's just by itself at the front that makes sense doesn't it that way you could put a little decoration on there okay so before I forget I'm going to glue that on I'm just using the Helmar quick dry adhesive for this. So I'm going to, that's the front. This is the first thing. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue up there and a bead of glue up here. That. 
so that sticks to that and then I bring that forward and do the same just put a bead here and a bead here so that that sticks to that back on there We've got a pocket in there, and that's our bag, and then a pocket in there, and that's our bag, like that. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I want to decorate the front. I want to put a bit of music paper on these as well, I think. The back one needs some cardstock on it to make it stronger. Um, I don't have a huge variety of card stock so I'll just well different colours that is, you know. I've got mind you if I use a piece of card stock, oops, that's really thick. can always put a bit of music paper over it, can't I? I just need a bigger piece on the back here. About there. About there. Okay. So that, what's that? Four and three fourths, just under four and a half inches by uh, six and a half. longer but that's okay. It's going to go on there like that. But like I said I might cover it in a bit of music paper because that's a bit bright but you could write a message on that. There's a thought isn't it? If you were sending it to somebody you could leave that like that, ink the edges put it on the back there and write a little note to whoever it's going to. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll just ink the edges. Well, it's still a bit bright. might add a bit of, um, what's it called? Coffee paper, tea or coffee stained paper to that. I've got a pile up here. Where is it? Here's a piece. We can attach that to that. Let me just get rid of that. And just put a little bit of tacky glue on that to start with, just to hold it in place. I'll use this for a few days. I just need enough to hold it for a moment while I stitch that on. scissors. I think they're down there. So I'm going to stitch that. This is the Shadow Grey 
archival ink. Let me try that one there. Okay, I'll be back once I've inked that up. Okay, that's done. I did crease it a bit at the top, but I'm not too concerned because I can cover that with a bit of lace. I think what I will do is just put a crease in it where the crease is going to go. Oh. Can you hear that? That's Molly. She is climbing on the back of the laundry door. I have my ironing board hanging and she doesn't, she's not a very good jumper or climber, especially for a cat. She's probably the worst jumper and climber I've ever come across in a cat. Um, so, <laughs> so whenever she has to jump or climb, she has to get help by something and she's trying to get on top of the dryer because it's cold here. Not that the dryer is on, but she's got a feeling it might go on. And so she's makes all this noise. She's not very stealth for a cat. Okay, so we'll put that there. Like that. And I'm hoping this will help give that back part a bit of support. You know, like that. So it will have, it won't just fall over type thing. You could make it a pocket but I think the whole thing's a series of pockets so you probably don't need that last one plus I want it to have a bit more strength on that back page. I mean you could make this double thickness card stock here as well which I might do in any future ones I make I just I need to make this one first to see how it works so I'll bend that one that way now so that's like that on the back and hopefully that will help these to all stand up a little bit more I wonder if they need something. I won't know really. Like it's meant to kind of go like it's meant to go like that. I know um when Denise had hers she put it in a little stand. One of um like a little stand to hold it up and I was trying to make something perhaps that had its own stand. Because you still want to go like this, don't you? But you don't want it laying like that and you don't want it laying flat the other way. Um, it's like... Because you still want to open it. Unless I put some seam binding on it and tied it at the front. That's something you could do. You'd have to leave a little gap. So let's just rub a bit of that glue off before it dries so that we have that option if we want it. We can put a little bit of seam binding under there at the end. Okay, so now what I want to do is... I've got this old mus music paper. I'm almost running out of music paper. I just, I used to have so much of it and now I'm running out of it. It doesn't really matter. Um, where's my ruler? Right. I don't, do I need the hole? Maybe I could use that part there. Okay, that would be nice, wouldn't it? What are you doing, Molly? That looks fairly, fairly straight. It's 
very brittle this paper so I need to be careful because it's fairly old and published copyright 1903 So that's, that's just the copyright. I don't know when this was published, but you can see it's really quite brittle, isn't it? Okay, so let me take that to about there perhaps. the front oh, it doesn't look too dark like that. And then another piece in here and the last one is a bit smaller so maybe maybe we'll just take Do that a bit lower, I think, so we've got something to hold. Much better. Okay, so from one about there to just under there. One will go in there like that, and that one. And then this one can be I like that part there better. Uh, I think. Let's see if we can do it that way. That one can go there, like that, just to decorate that pocket. A little doily piece might be nice under there. Um, do I have any? I do, I do. Oh, I've got quite a few. Okay. heart-shaped one. Maybe I could stick that there. That there. I like that side a bit better I think. Um, no, it doesn't need that, does it? Is that? That looks nice. I don't need to use the whole doily though so I can cut that there. And that, that 
can go there like that and then we have this on the front so we don't really need anything oh that's a bit long isn't it needs to come down a bit or up a bit perhaps let's see brittle paper that needs gluing down quite well. Um, we could use part of where's that other half I just there. We could use a bit of it on here. I don't want to cover up all the music though. Maybe just a bit in a collage type thing. So, but I don't like the colour against that. I think it needs maybe that bit. It's a bit lighter, isn't it? Maybe we'll use that there somehow on the front. Like that and that. See, that's more interesting on that side. One or two. Kind of like that side a bit better because it's got this extra writing down the bottom as well. Okay. Okay, so we can do that. That will go there, that will go there. We want to stitch it, but we want some little snippets of lace on here. Making some sort of a a collage out of it just to add a bit of interest um, not so much the colors on this one so I'll pop those to one side because of course that's what my last project was that which will work there's some more of that because I think they were the last bits of that what else in fact there's a lot of those bits they're only small bits but what else to show that we have something else? There's a bit of sari, a bit of that one. Some more of that one. Because that, oh, hang on, look, there's all our sari off cuts we kept. So I use those. They're always good. Oh, there's a bit of lace down the bottom here. It's that little flower thing. There's this. I can use. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a bit of that in there. Where was that? That one. That was from the book. Remember, I put it down the spine. Do I want to use it on this, though? I don't know. What else? Is that it? That's for, oh, hang on. Here's a bit. A bit. What else have we got? Oh, a bit of that. A bit of cheesecloth and sari. There's also a bit of that. It's pink. There's another bit of that. And that's it. The others are all. There's a little bit of ribbon there. Oh, what is that? It. That's, that's pink, so we're not going to use those on a different project, all those beautiful pieces. Can, we don't have to use all this, but I'll put it over there. I don't want all of that. That's, there's another piece. There's another sari piece. See, they're all colourful. There's another piece we can use. Coloured pieces. 
use that. A bit small for this. Okay, and there they can go back in. And that, oh, there's pink. It's a bit pinky too, isn't it? Is that a, I don't know. That is so beautiful. I don't know if I want to use that on here or not. I'll leave it out. I also have this still here. That's from the dress form choker I made. So that's still sat on my desk. Uh, back in there. Oh, there's another one. Anything else out here? There are colours. Alright. But I have some goodies still in the box here from my design team kit. So I'm just going to, oh see I have this and I had previously dyed that up to use it, but I don't think I used it. So we might be able to use that and it dyed, it kind of stained quite dark. Darker than I would normally like, but we may be able to use that. All this other stuff is from, you know, I still have other projects, so I've got to be careful I don't use everything. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to work with this. Um, and uh, where is it? I cut some flowers out the other day. Where did I put it? I cut some flowers out the other day. I was playing around, I'd already taken all the pages out of this book here. Um, and they're not, they're not the flowers, are they? No. But then I'd left it, they're, no, they're not the flowers, they're somewhere else. But then I had these pictures that I cut out and these are tsunami rose flowers and they may work with this quite nicely. I was just playing around and I found the sheet of the tsunami rose flowers that I had. So I glued them onto a manila folder and then sat there and cut them out so they're a little bit stronger. That may look pretty, these sorts of things may look pretty yeah. I don't know how but you know they might look pretty to add a bit of color on this sort of thing as well not sure so oh, look at this isn't this wonderful this is the inside of the book where all the pages get ripped out of I love these I always keep these they're just I mean look that on a page by itself is just rather amazing. It's like all the work's done for you, isn't it? Look at that. Love those. I've got a few of those. I love them so much though that I, I don't want to use them sometimes because they look so good. And like that's the little, see that's the bit that was stuck to the page. Like, see, that's the inside page. That's a bit of that stuff there too. It's the inside of that, and that came up really nicely, but I, it's really pretty, isn't it? So I'll save those, and then I was mucking around with guest checks. Oh, that's some more I found that I cut out as well. Um, they're from Tsunami Rose. They're a little bit orange for this, though, so I'm not, I don't think I'll be using those. Um, oh, that's what I did. I forgot I'd done this. I have a time card. I didn't think I had any left. Here it is. I have two 
time cards that Crafty Irena sent to me. So what I did was I scanned them like that, both sides at once. And then I put a manila folder into the printer and I printed them out in just, you know, grayscale or black and white, I think it was. Um, both heading the same way up. And then there's the manila folder there. And I just put that up and I thought that that will make a nice little something at some stage. I don't know what yet. I'm not sure if I'm trimming that off either. So that's what I was playing around with. I think I did another one too. See, that's just a copy of a guest check. And, oh, this is the... I did this one first and just folded it like that. And then I thought, oh, I should do it a bit more spaced apart here to actually make a decent size. Yeah. Oh, there's two of those, isn't there? There's two, so maybe I was going to leave it like that. Oh, I should write these things down as I do them because I, I start doing things and then I forget what I was actually going to be doing. So I need to write things down. Perhaps don't stop halfway through would be helpful. Anyway, that's not what I'm doing today. I want I want some flowers, don't I? These let's just take those out and put them over there. I'm running out of room here. I need to put some things away. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. don't need those there do we all right so that that's our back page so I'm going to stitch around that I think I need something to make it look pretty bit of bit of that maybe do we want to I think we'll keep these fairly even but there of that. That's the wrong way. Oh, maybe we can just follow that around a bit. Like that. Put that there like that. Okay. Like that. scrunched up a little bit. Do we have a little flower perhaps we can use? Here we go. That one. And there. We could do that one that way and then when we do this one here we could have a picture, have it going the opposite way. Okay. So that like that. And then same binding, same binding, uh, not same binding, sorry. Sorry, silk, sorry, silk. Some more of this. Have it coming from 
that side this time. Like that. Um, maybe a larger picture on this one. A bit more of this. Maybe that piece there. Okay. Something like that there. Then on our front page, see that starts to thicken it up already, doesn't it? So our front page is going to be like that. Might have the decoration more down here. Because if I, oh, that's what I need to think. If I decide to have seam binding to tie the front, I don't want it to get in the way, do I? Maybe a bit of that. <laughs> Sometimes they're hard to see which is the front and that's, okay, this is the front. We could have that, although you lose all the music paper by doing, oh hang on, maybe, it doesn't matter if we lose the music paper, uh, okay, that, I mean we don't have to have the melody of love showing, but it would be nice I guess, so it could go, it could go like that, like that, We have a larger flower in that same colourway, I think. Is it larger? I don't think it is actually. That's that one. Maybe we just use two. Like that. don't need that big one, well, maybe we need that there, like that, maybe that there, coming out the top like that, um, 